It's a mid-sized cat with a great big heart. U.S. automakers have always looked to expand their market share any way possible, and in the late 1960s, that meant targeting buyers of imported cars built outside the United States. But companies like Mercury felt they needed a player in the personal luxury market segment held strong by cars from European manufacturers like Mercedes-Benz and BMW. This was just one of the many motivations for Mercury to bring the luxury sport Cougar to market. The Cougar was built from the Mustang platform, but Mercury designers did a fantastic job of disguising the car's underpinnings. While it's obvious on the GM side that a 69 Chevrolet Camaro and a 69 Pontiac Firebird are technically sisters, the Mustang and Cougar don't appear all that similar on the outside. Additionally, the Cougar featured interesting style elements that further personalized its identity, making it a very cool car all on its own. Of course, having Mustang DNA meant that these cars could easily be hopped up into screaming performers with factory parts and minimal engineering investment. And with the muscle cars being as hot as they were, Mercury took full advantage of the opportunity. High-strung Cougars could be had in several different flavors in 1969, ranging from the racy Eliminator to the more sedate XR7 seen here. And although it's not as flashy as the Eliminator, this one sings its powerful song through 428 cubes of Cobra Jet power. The 335 horsepower rating given to these 428 Cobra Jets doesn't really tell the whole performance story. A lot of people might suggest these things made over 400 horsepower, and when you couple that with the massive amount of torque, like 440 pound-feet, then you start to get the overall image of how much performance these mid-sized luxury muscle cars really have. The Ford 428 first appeared in 1966 in the Thunderbird and Galaxy 7-liter cars and was cranking out a factory-rated 335 horsepower in our 69 XR7. Ford fans have long disputed that number and the 440 pound-foot torque rating as being conservative to trick the insurance companies of the day and to maintain a 400 horsepower range is probably more realistic. We know that the 428 sported a nearly square 413 bore and 398 stroke and made power from the bottom of the tack, perfect for a street brawler in fluffy white sheep's clothing. This one is also breathing through the functional ram air system for a colder intake charge. The 428 Cobra Jet is just as much a system as it is an engine, as the 428 required several other upgrades to be installed in the Cougar. In order to keep a handle on all that power, Mercury mandated the competition handling package, which provided higher rate springs, specially valved shock absorbers, and upsized front and rear sway bars. Braking was handled by front power assisted disc brakes, and the unique 14-inch styled steel wheels sport trim rings and performance rubber for optimal road contact. A C6 three-speed automatic takes care of the shifting duties, and a 9-inch rear assembly is loaded with a limited slip differential and 325 to 1 gears, a great compromise gear for acceleration as well as a comfortable highway cruising RPM. The 428 Ram Air breathes through dual exhaust and will hold back from any purring or roaring gags for this cooler. Nineteen sixty-nine was the first year of the convertible option for a Mercury Cougar, 
And this car has another option to help blow your hair around when the top is down, a 428 Cobra Jet V8. These 69 XR7s are sharp looking cars with a crisp horizontal grille treatment and hidden headlights. The subtle peaked hood sports the functional ram air scoop, hood pins, and a thin stripe informs the curious about the power lurking underneath the hood. The sides of the car feature a deep sweeping cove running the whole length of the car, interrupted on the driver's side by a sporty body colored rear view mirror. The rear design of the car contrasts the horizontal grille up front, but this time it's got a vertical slatted set of full width taillights that sequence when the signals are activated. And while many convertible muscle cars don't look as good half the time, this XR7 rocks the good looks top up or down. Inside, the goal of the Cougar is driver comfort, and this one does not disappoint. The upholstery is understated saddle leather stretched over bucket seats, and a sleek center console houses the automatic shifter. The smart gauges keep the driver up to speed, and motorized conveniences include power windows and a fingertip controlled power convertible top. Because there's nothing wrong with clicking off mid 14 second quarter mile times while lounging in the lap of luxury. A group of domestic cats is called a clouder, but considering that cougars don't really hang together in nature, Maybe we say the Brothers Collection is home to a clouder of wild cougars in captivity. If you like these killer four-wheel cats, we've got a lot more of them on our website at MuscleCarTheWeek.com. And we will see you next time.